William Wade. I think William Wade, um, it's a story of its own within the Revolution Latinas program. Um, the first years, it was very difficult. William is very specific with his music. I think he's a musical genius and that that creates problems for him sometimes um, because he's just too good at something and that takes away that human part of how to say something, how to give a note in a way that people are just going to... No, he just says it. That's bad. That doesn't work. Throw that away. I don't know why you have that in your book. No, what are you trying to say to people? That there's more than what I know that right. I want to discover. Are you telling them that for your purposes or for theirs? For mine. No. For theirs? If you're just saying it for your purposes, why the hell would you tell them? Because, well, the first time when I sang it, I said that this song for me was more introspective and I think that's a terrible choice. I think it's important to get a variety of opinions on different things and a variety of approaches and I think that I bring one facet of that to the table because my specific approach to doing things is um, more strict. It comes from a tra tradition where I learned classical music where everything is very strict and regimented. And uh, although theater doesn't work that way so much, I think I bring a bit of that to the table. song. I don't listen to this kind of music. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you dramatically that pause is all wrong because you've just broken the story. People take dramatic pauses all the time. They take this moment, they want this held longer, they whatever. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Do you not trust us to get what you're saying? Do you feel you have to put an exclamation mark on it? We get it. We're smart. We understand. Go. Uh start to happen? Yes. That was because you were opening and you were supporting. You were using the air. You've got all that air and you're like... But our students get to fall in love with William and everything that his head and his musicality provides to them. And I think that he's a great, great asset to be on Worship Series and to music and to musical theater. Now and then I get Soy Camilo López, soy de Colombia, tengo 27 años y soy actor y licenciado en Arte Dramático en la Universidad del Valle. Pues creo que el que no sueña no, no tiene perspectiva, entonces no perder la perspectiva es importante. Yo, yo me sentía como, oh, no, estoy como en fame, porque eran como muchos estudiantes con jóvenes, con muchos talentos distintos, eh, queriendo compartir sus experiencias. Y los maestros profesionales en todas las áreas también queriendo compartir sus sus conocimientos con nosotros. Oh 
you won me over. I want to put you in everything I write. I'm like, oh, that's adorable. It's like my own personal puppet. I want that. I think that everybody is used to music. Maybe they're not used to musicals. Maybe they're not used to certain styles of music. But everybody has music in their lives. So it's just a matter of channeling that interest into a specific way of approaching material. And uh, I think once you figure out the storytelling aspect that everything is basically the same as any other kind of music. And when the breathing starts to get supported, you have so much more power. And if you can learn this at your age, by the time you're 22, 23, you're going to be like, yeah.